Okay. So namaste again. I'm sorry. I um, had some technical difficulties getting on um, or getting this correct. So I want to just make sure that I uh, can be heard okay. And I'm wondering, I'm not seeing anybody chatting here, so I'm wondering if there's a problem uh, with something that I need to, to do better. Okay. Okay, so can everybody hear me okay? I guess that's the first thing I want to uh, find out. If I just now enabled the chat, so if you could chat, if you could type in just so that I know you could hear. Wonderful, yes. Okay, good. So you can hear me okay? Uh, everything is uh, coming through loud and clear? Yes? Just let me, just give me a, an A-OK, -okay. yes, you can hear me OK, and yes, OK, perfect. So then we're going to start, um, and so I want to welcome you all to Interfaith Interspiritual Wisdom and Peace channel. It is a channel that embodies the wisdom of all traditions and honors the interspirituality of all, where we are uh, recognized that we are all one. This channel is sponsored by the Order of Universal Interfaith, OUNI, and offerings include weekly gatherings for peace and spiritual wisdom from various teachers, interfaith, interspiritual ministers, uh, members of the Order of Universal Interfaith, and their friends. So Interfaith, Interspiritual Wisdom, and Peace Channel is here to provide a virtual table where people of all backgrounds and spiritual traditions can gather for fellowship, community, and inspiration. And so what I thought I would do to open up is, um, is to do the crystal bowl. And so I'm going to offer that as, uh, as our opening and our centering. I'm going to turn this so that you can kind of see the bowl. So as we listen to the sound of the bowl, that tone, that sound helps to ground us. We can feel it all the way in our root chakra, grounding us into the earth, knowing that we're safe, knowing that all is well. And so I'm going to light some incense, not that You'd smell it, but I guess that's good for people who have allergies, right? I love incense. Well, why do we light incense? One reason is that it's symbolic of our invocations and our prayers and our wishes and our desires, our innermost, deepest worries, like smoke rising goes up, 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 up to a place where maybe the angels can take hold of it for us. So that's one interpretation and that's uh, sort of my interpretation. When I light incense, the reason I love to have light incense, first of all, the smell of it, you know, we're, we're human beings, we're, we're spiritual beings but we're, we're, we're human beings, we're having a human 
uh, experience, right? And so part of our human experience is, is our five senses. And so all of our senses are engaged in this practice of spirituality, um, in, this, in this longing to be connected, in this, um, in this journey really to enlightenment this journey to awakening, this journey to remembering who we really are, awakening ourselves to who we really are. So it's, I, I always think of incense um, stimulating my, the sense of smell, which sort of reminds me, it reminds me of my true nature, not that my true nature is smoke or incense, but it, it sort of reminds me of my connection to a higher power, to a power greater than myself. And so the smoke rising up also symbolizes for me, anyway, um, sort of my prayers, my prayers and my intentions that are, that are being sent up to the heavens. But we also understand that the heavens are within, right? You know, so Master, the Master Jesus talked about the kingdom of heaven is within you. Uh, it's not, heaven is not really a, a place. It's a, it's a state of mind, heaven. It's a consciousness. It's, a, it's an awareness of. It's a, it's a remembering and a knowing uh, that I am that. I am that. What, what is that? That is that I am spirit. That I'm really not this body necessarily. Uh, although I am inside of this body, or I am I'm having this human experience. And so as humans, we like tactile things. I know I do. Um, so the incense is one thing. Another, another, another um, sense tickler <laughs> or sense engager is the lighting of a candle. And so the lighting of the candle symbolizing the illumination and the light, the light. So calling on the light, calling on the light within. So I'm going to place this on the altar here. And so we have, we have incense going and we have a candle being um, lit and burning. So I thought that maybe um, what I would do is, um, is share a song with you. Um, part of my, I guess, um, some of my talent is uh, music. And so I thought I would share with you a Sikh chant, which I may have done on this channel before in the past, which is... Um, it's it's called calling on the light within. Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari Om. What is Hari? Um, praise, glorifying, adorations to kind of thing. Um, om, 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 the absolute. And so you know, Om is is Sanskrit, and its um, its meaning is really. An identifying or a defining of that which is the absolute reality. So the one, the one, the one being or the one uh, energy, the divine energy, the divine source, the one source, the blessed self, the higher self. And so it's adorations, adorations to that, to that I am, that I amness, right? So Hari Om, and uh, that's Sikh, it's a Sikh chant. And we're going to be calling on the light within because the light within is our is our spirit, is our soul. This this essence that is the same essence as that absolute reality, that absolute I amness, um, which is what connects us together in this oneness, is because we are really made up of the same spiritual essence. I'm made up of the same spiritual essence that you are made up of. And so this oneness, this thing that connects us, this our interconnectedness is, is what unifies us. And that, and that is that we are made up of the same spiritual ingredients, so to speak, as the I am that. I am that is the same I am that I am. Sounds a little confusing, but it really is quite simple. So I'm going to um, I'm going to play I'm going to play this. Hari Om, dear Lord, 
Satanam Holy name When I call on the light within I go home Hari Om Dear Lord Satanam Holy name When I call on the light within I go home Call on the light within Call on the light within Call on the light Call on the light Call on the light within Hari Om Dear Lord Satanam Holy name When I call on the light within I go home So, you know, I'm an interfaith minister, um, ordained interfaith minister. I like to say interfaith more than interfaith, but um, technically my, I am interfaith. Um, and so I like to draw upon many faith practices. I'm also, I uh, was initiated into the sannyasi order uh, in the lineage of Swami Jyotir Mayananda. And so my Hindu background is very, um, also very strong. Um, along with my Hindu background being quite, quite strong uh, as a foundation, I have uh, the Catholic practice, the Catholic faith, which I, I don't necessarily um, would, would call myself Catholic, um, although I was baptized and I was, received my first communion and I was confirmed in that tradition and had a very strong, 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 strong foundation in that, um, I wouldn't, con wouldn't call myself Catholic. Um, but what I wanted to talk a little bit about is, you know, that song that we just now, that I just now sang, that chant, um, talks about when I call on the light within, I go home. And, you know, as a Catholic growing up, what that really would have meant for me would have been when I die, my body, you know, would be laid out in the funeral home, right? And that my spirit or soul would um, ascend uh, to a place in, in the Catholic tradition, um, a place called purgatory, probably, or maybe heaven, maybe, oh, who knows? I mean, heaven is hard, was hard to get to in, in, in the Catholic tradition, I think, uh, unless you were like a super saint or, you know, bishop or cardinal or something like that. Um, I'm joking, really. That's not literally true. But um, heaven was hard to get into. Purgatory, most people did go to, and that was sort of like this place, this holding pen, so to speak, this lobby. <laughs> it, was like a, it was like a lobby. You were waiting there um, until you were able to actually get into heaven, which was part of like the prayers that you do. That's why you, you, know, you do really good deeds. You try to avoid sin. Um, and so, the, you know, the Catholic tradition was um, about this place where the soul went, either purgatory or heaven or hell. I mean, hell, you could go to hell, too. Um, not in a handbasket, either. But, you, you know, you could go to hell uh, if you were really, really, really bad, you know, and you a lot, a lot of mortal sins, you know. So that's what I was sort of raised uh, in, that, that understanding about, you know, being good during... Be good, do good throughout your life to avoid hell, um, which is where your soul might go if you were really bad. And if you were really, 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 really super good, you would go to heaven. So calling upon the light within could could have meant a lot of different things. Could have meant prayer. Could have meant could have could have meant um, going to mass, receiving the sacraments. And so the light, the light of God, the light of the gospels, the light of you know. Um, the light of the faith tradition uh, and, and all that it had to offer in terms of grace and sanctification kind of thing, I'm talking very theological right now, um, you would go home. And so where was home? Home was, eventually home was heaven. Home wasn't purgatory. Home was like the Greyhound bus station, right? Home was heaven. Heaven with God. So now, fast forward the tape, and I'm, you know, um, much older, been exposed to much more, and have been actually um, blessed to 
to have learned a lot about the different faith practices and uh, one in particular the Hindu practice and, and the Vedanta. So that my understanding now of going home is not a very far distance. So that going home isn't necessarily heaven, like a place, like I have to go on, you know, to Expedia or Travelocity to try to book a flight home kind of thing, because it's so far away. It's so far away, you know? It's, it's like impossible, almost impossible to achieve to get home if it was heaven, wherever that is. You know, and we always like point up because that's like our, our background kind of does that in our society and our, you know, um, our world. It's like heaven is, is up there somewhere. But the more, I, the more I learn about the Vedic scriptures and, and really look at even the Christian scriptures a little bit closer, a little bit closer, I hear things like Jesus saying, the kingdom of heaven is within you. So that doesn't make sense, right? If you think about it, it's like, what? I don't get it. What do you mean? How could that be? Isn't heaven a place like way away, way up there somewhere? Because I have to do like really, really good things in order to achieve it. And if I kind of fall a little short, I go to a place called purgatory. And if I'm really bad, I go to a place called hell. For some, for some faith traditions and some, you know, some dogma teaches us that. But Jesus is not saying that. Jesus is saying, kingdom of heaven is within you. It's within you. So when I call on the light within, I go home, and home is right here. So I think that it isn't a place, that it isn't even a destination. I believe that it's in the now moment so that I can go home and I can go and experience the kingdom of heaven right here, right now, right in this moment. When I, when I light the candle, right? When I light the candle and I engage my sense of sight, when I light the incense and I smell it, my sense of smell, I immediately calm down. And my sense of hearing is engaged when I hear the bowl. And when I grab the guitar and I feel this on my hands and then I listen, I calm down immediately. I take a deep breath in, hold it, breathe out. I'm home. I'm home in a place where I'm safe, where it's sacred, where there's no worries, where there's bliss, there's ananda. In this moment, in this moment, I don't know about the next moment. <laughs> I don't know about the next moment, but I know about this moment. And that's where heaven is. It's in there. It's in that space. It's in that surrender. Oh, it's in that surrender. I have to surrender. I have to let go. Let go of so many things. I have to let go of the worry. I have to let go of the expectations. I have to let go of the attachments. I have to let go of the control of what I want it to be. I have to control all of that. I have to let go of. And when I let go of that, and I feel this, oh, it's pretty powerful. It's pretty heavenly. You know, so I want to share with you uh, something that my my guru Swami Jyotir Mayananda um, has this really beautiful book. Uh, it's called Message from the Master, and it's uh, daily daily readings. Jyotir Mayananda, uh, yrf.org, but um, it's daily messages, right? with not any particular day in it, just, you know, and you just can like randomly, what I do is I, I just sort of randomly look. 
at, uh, pick one, you know? So I'm, I picked this one. He says, bless itself, adorations. That's what he calls us. Bless itself. When he emails me, he'll, he says, bless itself. That means he's recognizing the blessed self in me, the higher self in me, the, the I am that self in me. Blessed self, adorations, feel the divine presence enveloping your being. Every cell within your body is being sustained by the same hand that has fashioned the sun, the moon, and the stars. The awareness of the divine presence is most fascinating to the mind. Nothing in this world is sweeter than surrender to the divine self, who is the embodiment of infinite love. As ego melts, there arises within you a profound understanding of your deeper self. This vision, like a strong wind, drives away all troubles, worries, and miseries of daily life and fills your heart with a heavenly sweetness. Heaven. Heavenly sweetness. May God bless you. Swami Jyotirmayananda. Beautiful. Home run. <laughs> so for all of us who are seekers, what are we seeking? I think we're seeking heaven. I think we're seeking heaven on earth. And the good news is that, that heaven's not very far away. You know, we don't have to make a reservation. We don't have to get in touch with our travel agent. You know, all we have to do is get still. Be still. Be still and know that I am God. The Christian scriptures say. So take that moment for yourself to stop what you're doing. Stop. Stop the chatter in your head, right? I have to stop the chatter in my head and take a moment and have a practice, have a spiritual practice. We call it a practice because we got to keep practicing it. It's like medical practice. It's like a, it's like a martial art practice. It's like a musician has to practice. It's You have to practice it and it means you have to do it every day, all the time. So, you know, engage your senses. Light the candle. Illuminate your mind through the illumination, right, of the candle. Look at the candle. Just watch it. Just watch it. Ah, it's beautiful. Reminds me of the illumination of the soul, right? And light some incense, burn some incense if you're not allergic, <laughs> you don't have asthma, right? Burn the incense. Oh, let the smoke rise with your worries and your miseries and your things to do, all the distractions. Let the smoke rise, all of your wishes, all of your desires. Let that rise up as a prayer. Engage your sense of hearing. Listen to the tone of the bell. And so we're going to end with my favorite, one of my favorites. And it is a prayer for peace. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. We say OM to invoke the absolute reality and acknowledge that higher consciousness, that one source, that divine energy. OM, which is in Sanskrit, 
and Shanti. Shanti is peace. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. We say it three times because there's the moment that hasn't happened yet. So we ask for peace in that moment, to yet, yet to come moment, the moment that is now moment, and that which is within us, peace within. Oh, 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 oh. Shanti, 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 Shanti. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. Yay.